Well, yesterday I was on the way to work. If I took my motorcycle, I'd been on the highway. And I'd probably been to work really, really late. But I decided to take the truck because it looked like it might rain in the morning. So I was, take the truck, I take the old back road. That's just how much faith I have in the truck. So I'm going to work. And before I went to work, I heard all kinds of sirens and everything going off. But that don't mean nothing to me. I, I don't care, you know. But then as I was heading out of town, the first spot there that you could look over from the old way I was taken to the intrastate there, that 77, I noticed traffic just sitting there. I thought, well, that must have been what them sirens are for. Evidently, the northbound lane must have had an accident or something, all the traffic. And then I cross over a bridge where I go over that 77. It's probably a good two, three mile from where I was first seen the car sitting along 77. And I cross the bridge. I look over there and probably all about 100 yards away from the bridge. Over there they was, a big old wreck. Of course, you know, they had to I didn't get to see much. I just looked over and seen that the wreck was there. All the lights and stuff are flashing. So I had to pay attention to the road because all the rubberneckers, yeah, every rubbernecker in the county was over there on the bridge and everything had to stick their necks out to see what's going on, you know. They can't keep their nose in their own business. So I had to watch I didn't run over any of them rubberneckers all over the bridge and everything. But I get home in the morning, and the wife tells me there's a pretty bad wreck up there. I said, yeah, I seen it. I took the old way, so it didn't hold me up none. And uh, she said, yeah, they called for the life flight. They got it. Yeah, they called for life flight. Then they turned around and called life flight back, said, forget it. Dead, dead. And I said, what? Why'd they do that? They said the car blew up. After they called life flight, the car blew up. Big ball of flame. People went it dead, you know. First thing that pops to my head is my training, you know. The EMT paramedic training I had and stuff. The first thing that pops in my head is somebody didn't do their job. Somebody's liable for that. Yes, um, when a car explodes, that's telling me the battery wasn't disconnected. And we were always taught when you pulled up on a scene of an accident, one person's main job. It's not to gawk around and look what's going on and how bad everything's messed up. His first job is to get over, get to that vehicle, disconnect that battery so no explosions were to happen. Somebody failed. Somebody failed. Now, who? I don't know. I suppose the accident, you can kind of consider it between Stone Creek and Newcomer's Town. And yeah, there's another town, Port Washington. But whoever was the first responder there, that was one of their jobs to disconnect that battery. And I'd say somebody didn't do their job. And I'd say whoever did it, let it melt on your mind. You killed them people, you dang murderer, for not doing your job. I'm not sure who was first to respond, but believe me when I do, I'm going to put up the thing entitled, Whatever That Town Is, Fail Again. Oh, yeah, because that should have been done first thing, and you wouldn't have had the big kaboom and murdered those people. 
Oh, well, that's my video for today. And believe me, I'll find out who was there first. And we'll make another video saying how they have failed. <laughs> See you next Tuesday, people. Bye.